Now you better watch this and try to understand what's going on. I don't want anyone's life on my hands. Is there anything I can do to I don't want to hear any more from you, mister. If you stay up here, you take orders from me. And that includes leaving the girl alone. It's on, it's on. There's no sound. Play with the rabbit ears. It's reports, incredible as they seem, are not the results of mass hysteria. Mass they hysteria. What do they think we're imagining all this? Shut up! In all parts of the country. The wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. First eyewitness accounts of this grisly development came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. Officials and newsmen at first discounted those eyewitness descriptions as being beyond belief. However, the reports persisted. The medical examinations of some of the victims bore out the fact that they had been partially devoured. I think we have some late word of just arriving and I'll interrupt to bring this to you. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It's hard for us here to believe what we're reporting to you, but it does seem to be a fact. When this emergency first began, radio and television was advising people to stay inside, behind locked doors for safety. Well, that situation has now changed, and we're able to report a definite course of action for you. Civil defense machinery has been organized to provide rescue stations with food, shelter, medical treatment, and protection by armed National Guardsmen. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area for this list of rescue stations. This list will be repeated throughout our news coverage. Look for the name of the rescue station nearest you and make your way to that location as soon as possible. So we have that truck. We can get some gas. We can get out of here. There's a pump out by the shed. I know that's why I pulled in here, but it's locked. Emergency meeting called this afternoon by the president. Since convening this conference of the presidential cabinet, the FBI, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the CIA, has not produced any public information. Why are space experts being consulted about an Earth-bound emergency? So far, all the betting on the answer to that question centers on the recent Explorer satellite shot to Venus. That satellite, you'll recall, started back to Earth, but never got here. That's the space vehicle which orbited Venus and then was purposely destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could that radiation be somehow responsible for the wholesale murders we're now suffering? Newsman Don Quinn in Washington has posed those questions. It's obvious our best move is to try to get out of here. How are you going to get over to that pump? Look! Uh, you're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe, is that right? Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. You feel there is a connection between this and the there's phenomenon? A, there's a definite connection. A definite connection. In well, other words, no. you feel that the radiation on the Venus probe is enough to call these, cause these mutations? There was a very high degree of radiation. Well, just a minute. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that that's certain at all. I don't but think that has been a uh, irrefutable explanation that we have at this time. In other words, it is the military's viewpoint that the radiation is not the cause of the mutation. I can't speak for the entire military at this time, gentlemen. I must disagree with these gentlemen presently until we, uh, until this is irrefutably proved. Uh, everything is uh, being done that can be done. We'll have to hurry for our next meeting. Uh, uh, professor, you feel that there is a definite connection between a definite the... connection as far uh, as Dr. Keller and myself. Doctor, please. I, I thought we decided that is not proved yet. But, uh, was, it, when, was the satellite, uh, when the satellite was exploded... Was an unusual amount of radiation enough to cause mutation it under certain circumstances. Could have uh, happened yeah, to have a bearing on it. It does seem to have a bearing. Yes. Will, will, there be a, will there be a reply for this? For the Later. Press? Yes. There will be a reply. Yes. Later this afternoon. Hey. Hey. Well, there, there will, be a, there will be a report this afternoon. There, perhaps there will yes. be a report. Yes. A, a Later. Report. Will you close the window? We have everything possible to solve the problem. You no, know, we have to try to get out of here. He said the rescue stations have doctors and medical supplies. If we could get Karen there, we could get help for her. No, it's one of the world's foremost authorities on space science and technology. Willard. I saw a sign that said Willard. It's only about 17 miles from here. 
You know this area. You from around here? Judy and I are both from around here. We were on our way up to the lake to go swimming. And Judy had a radio, and we heard the first reports about this. So we knew the old house was here, and we came in and found the lady upstairs dead. Then these other people came. We went down into the basement and put a bar across the door, and it is pretty strong. How can we possibly get away from here? We've got a sick child, two women, one woman out of her head, three men, and the place is surrounded with these things. Dr. Grimes, your entire staff, I know, has been working very hard to find some solution to these things that are happening. Do you have any answers at this time? Yes, we have some answers. Uh, but first, let me stress the importance of seeking medical attention for anyone who's been injured in any way. We don't know yet uh, what complications might result from such injuries. How bad has your kid been hurt? Good advice, Doctor. Now, how about the basic um, problem of Well, Look, you go down there and tell... Uh, now, Judy? Uh, yeah, you tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? In the cold room at the university, uh, we had a cadaver. A cadaver from uh, which all four limbs had been amputated. Sometime early this morning, it opened its eyes and began to move its trunk. It was dead, but it opened its eyes and tried to move. They watch upstairs. Did she ask for me? She had to do anything. I don't understand. Baby. It's Mommy. I heard. I'll come back down as soon as I find out what they want. Thank you, Judy. The body should be disposed of at once, preferably by cremation. Well, how long after death, then, does the body become reactivated? It's only a matter of minutes. Minutes? Well, that doesn't give people time to make any arrangements. Oh, you're right. It doesn't give them time to make funeral arrangements. The bodies must be carried to the street and, and, and burned. Uh, they must be burned immediately. Soak them with gasoline and burn them. The bereaved will have to forego the dubious comforts that a funeral service will give. Uh, they're just dead flesh and dangerous. I see. Judy, I need you to find some beds, spreads, or sheets to tear up into small strips, okay? Is there a fruit cellar here? Yes. We need some bottles or jars to make Molotov cocktails and hold them up while we try to escape. Hey, there's a big can of kerosene down there. I'll see what I can find. I'll look for the bottles. There's a big key ring down there. There may be a key to the gas pump on it. I'll check. We can toss the cocktails from a window upstairs. Meantime, a couple of us can go out and try to get the gas and come back for the rest of the people. But that'll leave a door open someplace. Yeah, that's right. It better be this door. But it's closer to the truck. Before we go out, we'll put some supplies behind the cellar door. While we're gone, the rest of you can hold up in there. I found some fruit jars in the cellar. And there's a key on here that's labeled for the gas pump out back. I'm not really that used to the truck. I found it abandoned. I can handle the truck, no sweat. You're it, then. You and I will go. We'll put whatever lumber we find behind the cellar door. You can go upstairs and toss the cocktails from a window. Tom, you and I will have to unboard this door. After you toss the cocktails, you hustle back down here and lock this door. It's no good to board it up because we'll have to get back in quickly. After we get the gas and get back into the house, then we'll worry about getting everybody into the truck. Now let's move it. Except to the rescue station, which has been set up. Indications are that before this emergency is over, we will need many, many more such rescue stations.